So about a year ago, I started watching David Dobrik. I was living in Tennessee, I didn't have many friends, and I needed something to occupy my time. And that thing happened to be David Dobrik's vlogs. I watched a few of the newer videos at that time and then went back probably 250 to 300 episodes. He is absolutely one of my favorite creators on the platform and has done things with his channel that no one else has really done before on YouTube. If you've never seen a David Dobrik video, somehow this is what they are. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Basically, he's created a modern day version of the show Friends, which he is even aware of and is parodied in his show and has merch that parodies Friends. There are three videos that go up a week on his channel that are four minutes and 20 seconds each. Yes, it's a weed joke. The way David has been able to create this feeling of a community of characters like in the show Friends is by stringing together tons of tiny little situations. I mean, I really like the friendship aspect of the show. I think it's mm -hmm. really cool. I was able to capture like all of them being together. They're raunchy, they're friends. They're all hanging out, it's super sexual. It's really quick and there's no <laughs> lot of stillness, but there's still a narrative in it, which is nice. Now, David originally came from Vine. That's where he first had his popularity and that's why most of his friends in all of his original videos were all Viners. When you go back and look at those original vlogs, it's so clearly tons of vines strung together because that's what David was making at that time. Although the production value on the show has absolutely skyrocketed, at its core, it's still little bursts of excitement, relatable humor, and showing the friendships between all the different characters. David's a pussy, everybody! <laughs> Because of the way that David films content that doesn't focus on cinematography as much as being entertaining and funny and putting a personality out that people feel like they would want to hang out with in real life. And David's done that. I absolutely love this content, even though many times it's incredibly immature. It's exactly what I need to make me laugh. And... I think I'm gonna try to make my own episode and I'm gonna see if I can actually do it I'm gonna see if I can actually capture what makes a David Dobrik video a David Dobrik video I'm genuinely kind of nervous about this. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go at all <laughs> I don't think we have enough people because like I think he really showcases like five characters mm -hmm. per, per episode mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to really sort of be more people. Yes. <laughs> we just have to function as more characters in our own show We could wear uh, different hats. We don't have money. The money or the resources. Or the resources. Or the, f the fame. So we're- Josh Pack. So we're at a disadvantage in that way. All of what it makes it good <laughs> is what we don't have. <laughs> so we're gonna try to to do it with without all that stuff. Let's, let's see, see how we do. And if I fail, I have to put that part of the video after this. So let's hope I didn't fail and this is actually funny. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so my friend Sawyer just moved in with me a few days ago, and I want to go check on him to see how he's doing. Sawyer? Sawyer? And I'm dancing um. with my meat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you look like Zorro. <laughs> Zorro with a couple of offensive jokes that we can't make on YouTube. Jordan, you have a very little House on the Prairie vibe going right now. Thank you. What if it's just like, see a hot girl and it's just like, HOT GIRL ALERT! <laughs> this never really happens. Why is your dick so green? And a lightsaber. Infantile jaundice. <laughs> I actually had that when I was a kid. Oh really? Yeah. <gasps> I don't know, it's confusing me when people say, dear God, because it's like, are you praying to some sort of animalistic deity? What is this? This is my beautiful son. I just keep calling him my beautiful son. It's complicated because he was given to me by my cousin. You had a bong in the front seat. <laughs> Find the taser, I swear. But no, it was my son. I don't have a problem, you have a problem. It's my son. <laughs> a stun gun shoots out barbs into your flesh and it completes a circuit and electrocutes you. Yeah. This says Saber Compact Stun Gun. They're what? calling people the hardware and that's where we are. <laughs> got cameras on us right now. Got me from every direction. There's an exit, there's an exit. We'll just go outside. This will never catch us in the sea of people. In the sea of people? So Jesus bad. Christ. We got a kid in all black with a camera, with a guy holding, it seems just, like just a amazing just a sun. sun. Just like, like the most beautiful sun. No. Pluck it! Oh my God, they're like so weird and gross. I know, it's my body, okay? <laughs> What's up, you guys? This next part was a bit we tried to do like seven times, but failed every single time. What's the opening line again? Hey, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? No, let's do it. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Country road. <laughs> hey, are you guys thinking the same thing I am? Free road. Oh, 
Hey, are you guys thinking the same thing? <laughs> Quit playing with your son in the back. Hey, are you guys thinking the same thing? Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Hello. It is me, sexy Sawyer Pirate. Well, Pirate? <laughs> uh, I've never been a huge beach person because I sort of look like uh, two stick bugs having a roost. <laughs> Running in the beach is horrible. I'm gonna draw something in the sand really quick before it goes away. Water's coming. Water's coming. What are you trying to do? What Water's almost here. What? And the water's so far. Well, sort of like. See, the beach is his expectations that no one can meet. You still peeing? Stop peeing. We can't use any of this. We're gonna dox my sister's ladder. <laughs> oh, that went right up in the taint. Where did your legs go? It's I want not, really fun tan lines. It's not even like you're doing a mermaid thing. It looks like you're amputated. Oh, Jordan's completely covered and is a head. That's why I couldn't see her. Jordan, this is not the best way to tan. You're never getting that off of you. It's in every cranny. Every single nook as well. It's in every single Amazon nook and cranny. Nook is burnt. Yeah. Nope. Fuck. Amazon Kindle Fire and cranny. Good one. <laughs> hey guys, so Jordan just showed me an amazing game called Quiplash. Somebody knows nothing about wine when they say this after taking a sip. I love this blood. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her hanging out with vampires and they're trying to be cool. And it's like, I love this blood. Mm -hmm. Something you don't want to find in your grandpa's tool shed. If it's a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Something you never want to hear a flight attendant say. Can your nephew son <laughs> laugh? <laughs> the worst excuse Clark Kent has given to Lois Lane so he could go change into Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Who like was that? Them. Jordan, if this is you, you're definitely never having a YouTube channel. Everyone wants- <laughs> God damn it! Feed me tacos and tell me I'm pretty. Aren't oh. tacos a euphemism for vagina? Feed me vagina and tell me I'm pretty. I don't know, that just sounds too desperate. <laughs> Get it? Cause I'm nasty. <laughs> Look at the kick line of bears. <laughs> Stop picking your arm hairs in public. I got one. They're so long and disgusting. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. That's just schizophrenia, right? <laughs> I don't think there's a store here that even has a real name. Fabletics. Athleta. I wish Athleta. Just, it just said the gap. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just do one game of door catch? It's a success. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today's vlog. Thank you for watching Bobby Burns is Sexy. Make sure to like and subscribe and tweet me at TheBobbyBurns. Guys, this merch is available at TheBobbyBurns.com. My bottle's so loud. <laughs> you keep putting seltzer in. You're right, it is just carbonation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there it is. There, there was our video. What did you think? Was it like David Dobrik? Did it feel like David Dobrik? Um, yeah, kinda. <laughs> we kind of got it. I think the biggest thing holding us back from achieving the full David Oberg look is just having the amount of people. We just don't have any friends. I think that's, <laughs> that's the takeaway. It's just this haunting realization that you don't know anybody else. The actual shooting process was fairly straightforward. The editing was really the, the hard part. We shot probably three hours of footage. I don't know how much footage he shoots every other day, but it definitely isn't three hours. In the end, I am actually really proud of what we ended up with. I think for spending zero money fucking around and trying to do it with, with the stuff that we had, I think we did a pretty fucking good job. I think we really got the vibe across that we were trying to get. Recently, I directed a video for Sawyer's channel that you should go check out. It's a collab he did with Mac Does It. We basically just invited him over and then we just uh, taped a, plate, taped to your a head. plate to my head and he left and that was really <laughs> it. It's worth your time and your attention. But yeah, make sure you go check that video out. Thank you so much for giving this video a watch. You can hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at the Bobby Burns and him on Twitter and Instagram at Sawyer Math. I could use more pen pals. I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Just freeze. Just one single tear looking at the American flag. Mm -hmm.